All right, so let's dissect knee cars and just the knee in general. When it comes to the knee, if we talk about the, because there's two different knee joints technically. If we're talking about the tibiofemoral joint, meaning our tibia on our femur, tibia being this bone that comes up here, femur being this bone that comes down to knead it, the fundamental movement of that joint is rotation. Okay, so it's commonly thought to be flexion and extension because that's most of what we see our knee doing. But in order to flex and extend our knee, we actually need those rotational components. So they are coupled movements in that when I flex and extend my knee, I'm also getting rotation happening whether you see it or not. Additionally, again, if you think about rotation, which we know is the fundamental movement of the knee, it's also the least trained movement at the knee. So when you think about your commonly known knee exercises, not many of them actually have a rotational component to them. So if we know it's the fundamental movement of the knee and we know it's a common mechanism of injury at the knee, we want to prepare our bodies for it. So if you think about ACL tears, often they happen when somebody's foot is planted and they go to twist and rotate and they don't have that rotational capacity and so they shred their knee. Now we can never actually like fully prevent injuries like that from, happen or from happening, but we can mitigate them. So the more prepared that my knee is to rotate and the more that I specifically train tissue capacity in a rotational matter, the more prepared I'm gonna be to actually one, rotate my tibia on my femur or two, have my foot planted and my tibia planted and move my femur on my tibia. So with knee cars, we integrate knee rotation into the knee car itself. So rather than just bending and straightening the knee, you're gonna notice that we rotate it back and forth as well. Now let's do a quick check and see what we have for tibia rotation for you. So you could do this either sitting on the ground in the position that I'm in here, or you could even just do this sitting in a chair, especially if you struggle with either hip mobility or low back mobility. If you take your hands and you place them underneath either side of your leg, and then with your heel on the ground, think about dragging your heel towards you, but without actually moving at all. What's gonna happen when I do that? As soon as I think pull my heel back, my hamstrings are gonna engage and you're gonna notice these little guitar strings that kind of come out on either side underneath your knee. Place your finger on those little guitar strings on either side. Those are your hamstrings. We're gonna be thinking of uh, using them like a pulley as we try to rotate our knee out. You should feel those inside, or sorry, outside hamstrings kind of cinch up. And then as you rotate your knee in, you should feel the inside hamstring cinch up. So we're using that as a mechanism to actually rotate the knee. And if you were to look at your knee in a mirror, you should actually see this bone spinning back and forth as you rotate. So just get a feel for it. Check your knee out. Does it rotate? Does it rotate in? Does it rotate out? Tibia internal rotation is like the king when it comes to the knee. We'll call tibia external rotation like the queen. So we want those two movements. Then we're gonna integrate that into our knee car. But before we get onto that, I want you to also check, can you rotate your tibia without moving your ankle? So it's really hard to completely dissociate those two, but I want you to make sure that this bone is driving the bus and not these guys down here. So see if you can keep your foot completely flat as you rotate in and as you rotate out, such that you don't see ankle inversion happening when you come into tibia internal rotation and ankle eversion happening as you go into tibia external rotation. We want to drive all that movement from the knee and have that ankle and foot just kind of come along for the ride versus driving it down here, rotating through that ankle and then trying to drag the tibia along after. So again, just something to be mindful of just when rotating your knee in general, but also when doing your knee cars. Now to go on to the actual knee car itself, the most common way that you're gonna see done it is in this position here. If you have access to this position, great. It's awesome to use. The way that you'll get into it is you'll take your right arm, you'll hook it underneath your right knee if we're doing the right side. You would grab your left bicep and then you would place your opposite hand on top of your knee and then just kick yourself up just a little bit so your heel disconnects from the ground. Then you could go through your knee cars in this position. If you struggle with hip flexion, low back mobility, shoulder mobility, anything that requires being in this position, you could also just do this sitting in a chair, create a little basket with your hands, place it underneath your leg, and you can do your knee cars sitting in a chair as well. So let's come up into this position here. Now what I'm gonna do 
is I'm going to go through rotation with flexion and extension. So without, again, driving the bus with my ankle, I'm going to see if I can drive motion from here. I'm going to rotate my knee out. And the other thing, I like to be really fussy. When we rotate that knee out, notice how my heel swung out to the side. It started here and then it ended over here. We also want to see, can we keep that heel in the same spot and think of it more like a swivel, like somebody stuffed a rod through my heel up into my knee. And my only option is to spin on that rod versus swinging my heel out from side to side. So just something else to be mindful of. We'll rotate out, then we'll extend as far as we can. Now notice in this position, you actually can't fully extend your knee. That's fine, we want it, because when we do, it locks and then we actually can't rotate it anymore. So just explore as much range as you can there. Then you'll rotate in and then you're gonna slowly bring it back down. So rotate out, extend, rotate in, bend, and then you'll reverse. Now we'll go back the other way, rotate, draw it in, rotate in, extend out. So you always go in both directions. We don't always want to get stuck going in the same direction over and over again. But that's how we do our knee cars. There's a little bit of information about the knee in there. Try to, again, isolate the knee. Whenever we do a car, a controlled articular rotation, one of the things that we're attempting to do is completely isolate that joint. So try to be fussy. Try to make sure that your ankle isn't driving the motion here and that you're actually producing and driving that motion from the knee. And try to focus on pure axular rotation without letting the heel swing out from side to side. And if you're having trouble with that, you can come back to that first drill where we just kind of found our hamstrings and just rotated back and forth. And just keep an eye on your heel and make sure your heel stays in the same spot. It's a little bit easier to make sure that it stays completely axial when you do it with your heel planted. As that gets easier, then you can start practicing it, actually coming up and doing it in the knee car itself. Hopefully that was helpful. Take care, you guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Whenever you watch one of my videos, make sure to check the description below the video because I'll always drop links to related videos, links to exercises that would go well with the one that you just finished watching, links to free mobility classes, eBooks, and to my ever-growing library of full-length training videos. Additionally, if you found this specific video helpful, please let me know by hitting the like button below and that'll send me the message that you wanna see more videos like this one. You can also subscribe to be notified when new videos like this one are available. And if there's something specific that you want to see a video on, just let me know in the comments below and we'll try and make that happen. Otherwise, take care and we'll see you in the next one.